Dykes on This by Jackie Gabrielle. Copyright 2011. Ella. Chapter 12. The Big Hole. It was time to get back on the road. The morning was getting underway. Gabby finished her medication out in the car in the parking lot. Ella was upstairs in their room packing. The sun was coming up over the horizon, and the day felt fresh and new. Gone were the tree-lined highways. Ella and Gabby were in another place now. A 360-degree view of mountains and deserts. 1,878 miles away from home. What an adventure. Ella met Gabby in the gift shop of the hotel, which was in a room to the right just inside the lobby. The little room was small and well lit. There were shelves on the left which held salt shakers, souvenir plates and magnets, a rack in the rear with postcards, and a glass case on the right which held jewelry. I like that one, said Gabby, pointing through the glass. Ella peered into the case. Which one, that one over there? she asked. The young woman at the counter spoke up. Can I show you something? Yes, said Ella. Can we see the turquoise rings? The couple held up their hands admiringly. The silver bands were inlaid with turquoise and sparkled in the sunlight. The young woman behind the counter complimented the couple on making such a lovely choice. Where are you all headed? she asked. We're going to the Grand Canyon, said Gabby. I've always told my kids to spread my ashes there after I died, but it turns out I may get to see it while I'm alive. I just went there last week. What was it like? Well, I'm from around here, so to me it was just a big hole in the ground. That's disappointing. But I'm looking forward to it anyway. Gabby became silent and introspective at hearing this latest news. Ella paid for the rings, and the two headed for their vehicle. After getting transmission fluid and filling the tank with gas, they were headed towards the Grand Canyon by way of Flagstaff. They would figure out how to put the transmission fluid in later. For now, it was on to Highway 40 West. Ella let Gabby drive today. Gabby kept wondering, when would they get to the big hole? They kept driving following the direction from AAA, west through the Painted Desert, past Meteor Crater and Two Guns, to Flagstaff. Then they continued north on 64 towards the southern rim. Gabby kept looking for the big hole. Ella thought sure they were lost. Then, lo and behold, they arrived in Grand Canyon Village. Tonight they would sleep in the Canyon Plaza Resort a big difference from the RV camps they had been staying in, and it was one mile from the South Rim entrance. Gabby had done her research. If she was arrested in Arizona for less than two pounds of cannabis, she could face a $750 fine and maybe six months in jail. She prayed she would never have to face that issue and turned on the shower in the bathroom as she stuffed a towel under the door. The next morning was beautiful. Giant ravens in the air and forest everywhere. After a free breakfast compliments of the hotel, they were on their way in search of the big hole. They found themselves at the 86023 post office after following the map they had been given at the park entrance. After parking, they headed down a marked path, across the street and down another path. Finally, there was an opening in the walkway. It was breathtaking. Awesome. She laughed. This was more than a big hole. The young lady at the hotel in Gallup had played quite a trick on them. This was grand indeed. Beyond words, Gabby was seeing the Grand Canyon. And she wasn't dead yet. She had high hopes for California now. She knew they would make it. To be continued. Thanks for reading aloud.